Dear friends, in continuation with the conditional formatting exercise that we have completed, uh, now we will look for the second exercise uh, in this context. Exercise 2 is about applying the conditional formatting such that two top numbers have yellow font color and red background color. Also, two bottom numbers have yellow font color and green background, background color. So let's uh, study what has been done on this range. We will study the rules that has been applied on this range and then the same rule we will apply on the given range. Uh, let me tell you, these numbers are randomly generated numbers. If you click on any of these numbers, you will see a formula used to generate these numbers using RAND function, which is multiplied by 800 and has been rounded off to zero decimal places. That is why you are getting a whole number in return. So, every time you press enter by clicking into this cell, double clicking into this cell, you will find all the numbers change. So there is nothing to worry about, about this num these numbers. Okay, so these are, these numbers are only to experiment with and uh, nothing else. So let's select the given range and then go to home, then conditional formatting and in order to learn we will go to manage rules and here you can see two rules have been applied on the given range, rule number one and rule number two. So let's study the first rule. To do that, we will click the first rule and go to the edit rule. So in the edit rule dialog box, you can see select the rule type. In the select the rule type, this option has been selected which says format only top and bottom ranked values which is showing you this setting and in this setting you can see the bottom one only one you can make it two three by deleting this number you can set it to two so it is now set to one so bottom one number will be shown and the format will be this. You can apply the format as I have explained earlier uh, by clicking this button which will open up a new dialog box whereby you can uh, set for the field color, border color or border and font color and the number format as well. So I am cancelling it because I do not want to apply it. I am just studying this rule. So again I am cancelling to go back to this conditional formatting rules manager dialog box. So here we will go for the second uh, rule and edit rule and here it says format only top and bottom rank values and under this setting top has been selected from bottom and top options and only one number has been set to return. But in the question you can see apply conditional formatting such that two top numbers have a local. So you can make it two also. So let's see if top two number comes or not. So I'm clicking OK. Here also I will say top two numbers. Okay. So click OK and I will say apply. So top two and top bottom. Uh, uh, two bottom numbers are formatted. I am clicking OK to exit from the dialog box and you can see top two numbers 99 and 94 are there and bottom two numbers are here 16 as because 16 is repeated that is why three numbers are being shown uh, with uh, the given format that we had applied for the bottom two numbers. Okay, if I change this, 
double by uh, double clicking in one of the cells and pressing enter key all the numbers have changed and you can see that bottom two numbers are there uh, where this uh, uh, two this formatting is applied green background color and the given font color that's it the same thing you can apply on this range so for this you will go to the conditional formatting this time you will go to the new rule and here you will go for this option format only the top and bottom rank values whereby you will say top rank two values and you will define the format firstly you define the fill color i'm taking an independent one not uh, as said in the uh, question so i am saying i want word border in the cell and then i will say i want my font to be bold and the color of the font will be the red color and click okay so this is the ultimate result of the formatting applied you can see it in the preview section click okay the top two numbers are formatted similarly select the same range and go to the conditional formatting to apply the second rule so we will go to new rule again we will go to format only top and bottom rank values this time we will select bottom and we'll say two and we'll apply the format here we'll select the format border color yes this time we will go for you know red color of border you will have to select this outline once again to apply this color on this so font and then font color should be which one let's say navy blue one say bold okay so this will be the ultimate formatting of the cell click okay to apply it so bottom two numbers have been formatted so this way you apply conditional formatting Let's come to the next exercise. That is exercise number three in the conditional formatting. Here you are said use conditional formatting to export all the numbers above average in the red font and yellow background color and below average in the green and light blue background color. So how we have to proceed about this? Below average we will apply on this and above average rule we will apply on this. Similarly. We will learn in this section, this section, and the same thing will be applied on this section. All right. So let's study first. We will see the average has been calculated here. You can see average of this range has been calculated. If you double click into this cell, you will find this range has been selected uh, for the average calculation. Okay. So this is the average. This is the average. So above average. Uh, by seeing this number, you will be able to judge if the uh, selected numbers are above average or below average. So this one is the below average one, where the below average rule has been applied. So we will go to conditional formatting by selecting this range, and we will go to manage rule. And here is the rule for you. This one, go to edit rule to see what rule has been applied. So the fourth. Rule has been selected here. Format only the values that are above or below the average value. Okay, so below has been selected. Equal to above. There are many things, many options here. So we have selected only the below one. So after that, we have selected a format here. So you can change it. I'm changing it for you. Below, border applied. Color if you select. And click outline. The border will be applied. Go to the font. And bold, say bold italic here. Okay, the color, color, color of the font will be, say suppose brick red, and click OK to apply it. This is the final formatting of the below average numbers. And click OK, and say apply OK. You can see all the below average numbers have been selected from this range, and the formatting that we had set for that has been applied. That's all. So for this above average setting.
we will select the range, we will go to conditional formatting, we will go to new rule, I am sorry, we will go to, we have to study it now, so we will go to manage rule and in this manage rule we will click on the rule set and we will go to edit to learn it and here you can see format only the values that are above or below average and in the setting above has been selected and the format has been defined by clicking but format button. We have selected the field color. This is the field color. This is the border. And this is the font. Bold font style has been applied. Click OK. Apply it. If you want, you can change it. Go to the field color. Change the color. I am selecting green for you. Click OK. Click OK. Apply it. Okay. So here you can see above average numbers have been selected and the formatting as you had defined has been applied. So the same thing has to be repeated here as well. So you must have understood the process of applying the conditional formatting and setting the rule. So in X, XR exercise 4, use conditional formatting to spot the duplicate values and this is very interesting. Uh, you have to spot the duplicate values. So for that you will select the given range will go to the conditional formatting, you will set a new rule and in the rule you will say format only unique and duplicate values. So click this form, this uh, conditional formatting rule and then go to duplicate, okay, duplicate values and set the format. Suppose I am taking yellow background, border color, uh, red and click outline font color will be bold and italic. Okay, you can also choose for the font color from here. You can select blue color for the font color and click OK. So this will be the formatting that will be applied for the duplicate numbers. But if no duplicate number is there, this will not be applied. Please mind it. So I am clicking OK for this and because there is no duplicate number in this here this thing has not been applied. So, I am double clicking in one of the numbers and pressing enter key to change all the randomly generated numbers and here you see the two duplicate numbers were found in this range of the number and they have there this conditional formatting is applied for the duplicate numbers. So, you can spot it easily by applying conditional formatting. For a long series, it will be difficult for you to spot the duplicated values and this is very helpful for you when you have a long range of numbers and you have to export for the duplicate values. So this is a bone in turn. Conditional formatting is very powerful tool so far as the spotting of the duplicate values is concerned. This is very much helpful. So for unique numbers, you will have to apply it here. For that, you will go to conditional formatting. You will go to manage rule to learn this. Here is the rule applied, go to the edit one, format only unique and duplicate values and then this time in place of duplicate we have selected unique one, unique values in the selected range and this is the, uh, I am changing it for you, I am changing it to this colors, border color will be, so suppose this time I am taking blue, click outline to apply this border go to the font color, click bold and here is the color of the font, click ok, this will be the, I think the background color should be a little you know, dark so that your font is clearly visible, I am going to fill color to change your background color, I'm taking a deep color so that your font is clearly visible, click ok click apply. Okay. So again you can see there is no duplicate number that is why this format has uh, not escaped any number, escaped any number. So I am double clicking one of the numbers and pressing enter. So again there is no duplicate number that is why this thing has not been skipped. So here are two duplicate numbers and because they are not unique that is why they have in left white means formatting is not applied on them. So all other numbers are unique in 
this range that is why they have been applied with the conditional fault. So this way you can proceed for other numbers and you can apply this rule to understand. So in continuation with the conditional formatting now we will understand what the data bars are. Data bars help you in understanding the numbers with the help of colorful bars. So here in this number you can see depending on the number, depending on the number color bar has been set. So as the number is increasing the length of the bar is also increasing in this. So 74 is the largest number here that is why it has got the full cell color in terms of bar of the bar for the number. So as the number is decreasing you can see the bar length is also decreasing. So same for this there are different colors depending on the you know sense of the number. So if it is a dangerous value you can take uh, you know uh, red color, if it is a safer value you can take green color, if it is uh, uh, you know of uh, certain different uh, sense then you can take blue color and depending on the sense of the data you can choose a suitable color for this. This is solid fill and this is gradient fill. In the gradient fill your color is fading away as you are uh, reaching towards the end of the cell but here in the solid fill you are getting a solid fill it is not a solid fill it is gradient fill here. So I am selecting data bars solid fill here your color is not fading away as it is reaching towards the end of the bar right so that is the difference between a gradient fill and a solid fill in the case of data bars so data bars give you the sense of the uh, number how big how small right Hopefully you have understood this part. Now let us go to the color scales. So again you have got a series of numbers here and in these numbers green, yellow, red you know sense of colors, color scale has been applied. So again if the bottom part of the values are dangerous then you can select this, this setting green, yellow, red. So green will be the safer values, higher the value safer is the value, lower the value, dangerous is the value. So again these colors carry sense with them. So when you are applying these colors, green, yellow, red, how it is applied I am telling you. You select this range, you will go to conditional formatting and you will go to color scales. Now if you take your pointer on any of these, you will see it will show you green, yellow and red color scale. If you take it to the next one, it will show you red, yellow and green color scale. Okay, so higher the value, red it will be. For the middle range it will be yellow and for the bottom range of the values it will be green. So this way the color scale is changing. Okay, so as you take your pointer to the different options you will find different color settings are there and you can choose one which suits to your requirement. I am repeating again which suits to your requirement. Okay. So uh, as these things have been applied on this range we will go to conditional formatting, we will go to manage rules and you can see here this color bar has been applied. If you want to edit it you will have to go to edit rule and here is the setting for you. We have uh, it is already set when you select a color scale this thing is set you don't have to set it, these things individually this setting is ready made and just we are viewing it if you want to change that option is given uh, in the manage rule if at all you want to change otherwise it is ready made okay so if you want to change certain things in this like uh, around the 50 percent for the midpoint around the 50 percent the color will be uh, yellow and along the maximum value that is 100 percent of the 
a values it will be red and for the I'm sorry for the minimum values it will be uh, red color and for the maximum values it will be green so here is the preview for everything in the middle range it will be yellow or as it will vary the mix of the color will be applied that's it so accordingly you will have to close the you will have to uh, select this range and you will have to apply this here is the exercise for you you will have to apply this color as the skills given i mean you will red yellow green so select this range you go to condition formatting you go to color scale and select for the this one red yellow green option you go to this color scale select red yellow green color scale select it and the range is applied it is very simple but you need to understand the proper applicability of this. Right? So hopefully you will be able to complete this exercise given in this on this sheet. And the lastly, in the discussion of the conditional formatting is the icon sets. Icon sets also help you to understand the data in a proper manner. So uh, different types of icons are used to explain the data that what range it belongs to okay so for the maximum values it is upward arrow with green color for the middle range of the values it is a horizontal arrow in yellow color similarly you can see for the bottom range of the values it is downward arrow of bottom uh, towards the uh, bottom okay so these are the these are carrying different senses for you and uh, how to apply this conditional formatting this is again very simple you select the range and you will have to go to this icon sets option and here the, are the icon sets for you there are three icons used to explain the data there are four icons used to uh, explain the data there are five icons so depending on your requirement, you have to select a proper type of the icon set that suits to your requirement again. Okay, so if the three arrows are sufficient to explain your data, just go for the three arrows setting. If you click it, the same thing is applied. If you go for the different option, uh, like the five arrows, then things will change. Okay. And if you want to change this setting, or if you want to learn more on this setting, you can see I'm, I'm deleting this one because you no know, two rules are better to apply on this. So I'm deleting one of the rules. I'm applying only this rule. So that's it. This is the rule. If you want to edit this rule, go for further setting. So here are the icons for the values more than equal to 80% this icon will be applied for the values below 80 percent but more than equal to 60 percent this icon will be applied diagonal arrow with yellow color and horizontal arrow for horizontal yellow color arrow for less than 60 percent and up to 40 percent for below 40 percent downward diagonal arrow okay up to 20 percent and for below 20% red arrow with downward color, downward red color. So click OK. Nothing is to vary here, nothing is to change here. I'm canceling it. Okay, similarly, you have four quadrant uh, settings for different ranges. Again, you can see here for uh, this thing, I'm going to conditional formatting to better explain it go to manage rule and edit rule you can see for more than equal to 80 percent of the values you will get a dark circle where all the four quadrants are full i mean dark color you know for uh, less than 80 percent to 60 percent you will have one quadrant blank others other three quadrants dark and for less than eight uh, 60 percent up to 40 percent you will have two quadrants dark colored and half of the i mean 
two quadrant, rest of the two quadrants white. So similarly, for less than 40%, only one quadrant is dark and other three quadrants are white. So this is the setting. So depending on the value of the cell, these quadrants will be applied. These, you know, icons will be applied. So that's it. So your numbers will be carrying meaning with these icon sets. So these are very useful in certain things when you especially prepare dashboards, these things are, uh, you know, applied so that your data carries meaning and the meaning, uh, meaning changes when the data change, right? So hopefully everything is, with this we complete this exercise. Hopefully you have understood very clearly this conditional formatting exercise. Uh, thank you very much and happy learning.